So in case you watched the Bano Merchantman, I see from, I think it was two weeks ago. I want to show you this scene from the supposed sleeping quarters from the ship. And whilst each area of the ship will have its own feel, will have its own kind of uh, style and in its own forms, um, I think this is a good indication of um, the kind of elegance. And you know, if you imagine this is the crew area and the uh, guest area is going to be a level above this, um, I think it gives you a good idea of, of what we're aiming for. The other thing is with the Banu, they're, they're very communal in how they actually live their lives. So it didn't make sense to have separate quarters or separate captain's quarters because that's just not how they live. And getting the, the, the social pit for them to be able to sit around and talk and relax and socialize, it, it, it was an important thing to make sure that we got in. Um, the space needed to feel fine and elegant, but also homely. And that's pretty much where we're up to with the Banu Merchantman. Okay. There's several things which I think um, are not good here with the ship. Now, first, let's start with the geometry. Now, at first, look at this. It looks okay. It looks opulent. Looks elegant. You have curves. You think, okay, it's sort of development work. So the statement I made earlier that they were trying to cut corners doesn't appear to make sense. But here's my counter argument to that. Okay. First, notice that. Um, Let's talk about curvy shapes first. Like, If you, for example, have, as a child or as an adult, started to practice drawing or painting, you might have noticed that painting a human face is a lot more difficult than painting an animal. And that's quite more difficult than painting a plant. So a lot of newbies, they start out by, plant, by painting plants. And the reason for that is you can take a random plant, a potted plant in your room or somewhere in the street or a tree, you can start painting it and... Even if you get the proportions considerably wrong as, as a newbie painter or drawing artist, it's, it still might look good because um, the shapes, like in a human, if, you may, if you paint a human face, there's almost no room for proportional mistakes you can make because we all know how human faces are proportioned. And if it's a face that you know, if you're looking at, at, at the painting from somebody else, you're going to spot the, the problems if the proportions aren't correct. And even if you don't know the human's face, if the proportion is slightly off, you notice that the artist didn't get it right. Because painting or drawing at some point, at the basic level, is, is about capturing the proportions of what you see. And I think this translates to the curvy shapes here. They look opulent at the beginning, but here's the thing, they're like plant, like plant paintings. You can make random curvy shapes and it's going to look okay because it's not looking like anything. So you can get away with weird proportions that just have no purpose. Now compare that to, for example, the hammerhead interior or the Pisces. In those shapes, everything is nice and functionally built. And if something would be weird and out of proportion, you would notice it instantly. So in that analogy, the interior of the hammerhead is like a finely painted human face with all the proportions being correct. And a curvy shape like that, it's like painting a plant. You can get away with a lot of curvy shapes that make no sense. Okay. Now, the second problem is the geometry, the way it's arranged. Notice here. Here. Yeah. Notice it's, it's in a circle. It's probably 10 or 12 or I'm not sure how many times. They basically modeled this one piece over here. Then in the modeling program, they had it repeat all the way in the circle to avoid asymmetry. And there's some asymmetry at the entrance of the ship. Maybe I can catch a screenshot of it. So that part is nice. That's some asymmetry. But notice everything doesn't make sense, has no purpose. And if you want to test purpose in a, in a star citizenship, take the, do the following thing. Buy a water bottle and walk through the ship and try to, in each room, just to put the water bottle somewhere. Like imagine you're a mechanic, you need to put your water bottle somewhere while doing something else. And you will notice in the banner ships probably end on the, on the Defender, there's no place you can put something. Everything is super smooth without any purpose. So there's no place to put stuff. Well, except here, over here. And then the next problem is the law explanation, which I think is a total lie. I'm not sure if the law team... My guess is the model artists try to get away with uh, not, want, not having to model separate crew quarters for each crew member. So they made up this story about them being communal. That doesn't make any sense from a law standpoint. Because... 
uh, the developer says they're very communal. But if you look at previous explanations for the law for the Banu, um, they're all about money and profits and trading. So they're probably modeled after the Ferengi, not by looks or appearance or the way the ships look, like the way they're seeking out profits. And if you don't know the Ferengi, they're an alien race in, in the Star Trek series. And if you have a group of people or aliens that are all out about status and money, which they are because the previous um, explanations of the Banu Merchantman are about the ship having these showrooms where they show off their wealth to, to people visiting the ship. And what does a person who is well off want to do? They want to have their own room to sleep in. Nobody in this planet wants to sleep in a room with 20 other guys, especially if you're the ship captain. You want to have a separate room. Officers have their separate rooms. And even each crew member, if in any human possible situation, if they would, if they could pick between sleeping in a room with many bunk beds or having their own private room, everybody would pick their own private room. For example, on ships, whether it's military ships or civilian ships, I think for most people walking on a ship, it would be a prized possession to have their own bunk with their own little room instead of sleeping with somebody else in the same room. So the law explanation doesn't make any sense that the ban who somehow like to be communal and sleep together in the same room, especially if they're a bathing race that's all about profits. And everything else, all the law that showed before was about them having highly hierarchical social structures where the rich guys show off their stuff. So the only explanation is that they're trying to use gameplay law to, to backfill them trying to cut corners on designing the crew quarters of the ship. And this corner cutting is eventually going to drag down the quality of the ship. And consider the hammerhead. It has a captain, captain's uh, desk room. The captain has its own sleeping room with his own shower next to it. And the crews have their own bunk beds. And if they want to be quote-unquote communal, they go to the second floor where they have a mess hall with a separate kitchen room and the kitchen room has its own freezer. And in the Banu Merchantman, there's one circular room of mirrored assets. And that's it. There might be other, other rooms that they're still planning to have, but notice how much work they put in the Dharma head, how much work they're avoiding in the Banu Merchantman.